in Jehovah Witness teaching, when you die, you cease to exist. Adventists and Seventh-day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses are very similar. So you guys want me to go a little in-depth, right? You're here to learn. Thank the Lord our numbers are increasing on Rumble. We need to increase this. Okay. Adventists, Seventh-day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses, their beliefs are very similar. Because many people don't know, if you ever study Charles Taze Russell, who founded the Jehovah's Witnesses, he was actually influenced by the Adventists. Millerites, William Miller and his followers. And he had lost his faith, but because of the Adventists, his faith was restored. This is why the original Adventists were like Joe's Witnesses. The original Adventists were like Joe's Witnesses. What do I mean? The original Adventists believed that Christ is not uncreated. They didn't believe in the Trinity. They believed like Arius, only the Father is uncreated. And he brought the sun into existence before all other <clears throat> creatures. So that's where Charles Taze Russell got this from. They also believe that when you die, you cease to be conscious. And they believe that hell is not everlasting. You'll be wiped out of existence. That's where Charles Taze Russell got the teaching. And like Charles Taze Russell, they would assign dates for the return of Christ physically. When those dates didn't pan out, they had to then reinterpret their mistakes now another thing that the original adventists taught was that christ is the archangel michael sound familiar this is where joe's witnesses get their teaching from from the millerites who are the adventists now when armageddon comes i need you to understand what they believe they believe jesus will not return physically to the earth but from heaven he will destroy the kingdoms of the world at Armageddon and then wipe out the wicked and the righteous Jehovah's Witnesses will be preserved. And those faithful witnesses that died who are not part of the 144,000 will be recreated and they will live on earth for a thousand years. And many people who had never received the truth will also be recreated. And during the thousand year reign, Joe's witnesses will then teach them about Jehovah. And during that time, they'll be given a chance to believe. But if they don't, they'll be wiped out. This is what they believe. Do you guys know that? So they don't even believe in a resurrection. Joe's witnesses don't believe in a resurrection. Because what is a resurrection for us? My soul spirit leaves my body. My body deteriorates. But I'm still alive. My soul and spirit. Then Jesus Almighty, who produced that body in my mother's womb, will then reconstruct that same body, but now with a difference. He'll remove the stain of sin. I will then enter that body, and that body will be made immortal. They don't believe that. They believe when you die, you cease to exist. She's going to say, you are a soul. So your soul ceases to be. You only exist as a memory in Jehovah's mind, and then Jehovah will recreate you because your soul doesn't exist anymore. You're wiped out of existence. That's what they believe. Did you know that? You're wiped out of existence. I don't know if you know that. Right? Yep, Harley, Harless. Joe's witnesses believe only the 144,000 anointing class will be born again as spirit creatures reigning with Jesus in heaven. Now, let me shock you a little more about what they believe about Christ. Now, if you've been following me for a while, then you know this already. These are things I've discussed. They don't believe Jesus was physically resurrected. When the man Jesus died, his body was pretty much wiped out of existence. The physical body of Jesus was wiped out of existence. So that man Jesus was wiped out of existence. And the archangel Michael was recreated with the memories of Jesus. So they don't believe Jesus exists anymore. You can call him Jesus, but he's not Jesus because he's not the man Jesus. He's the archangel Michael, a spirit creature. The humanity's gone. Did you know that? The human Jesus has been, in fact, Charles Taze Russell says, the man Jesus is dead. He's gone. So the man has been wiped out of existence. He does not exist because they believe that the archangel Michael ceased to be and his life force, his life energy, 
was then transferred into the womb of Mary. Mary conceived a human, a male, who was only human, and he had the life force of Michael, but he was only a man with the life force. And you know what else they teach, guys? You want me to go a little deeper? You guys want me to go a little deeper? They believe that the man, Jesus, was only human, not an angelic human. He had that life force of Michael, whatever that means, but Michael didn't exist anymore, right? <clears throat> life force was put into the child, that male, that was being conceived in the Blessed Virgin's womb, and that while Jesus was still young, he did not know that at one time, there was this Michael that existed in heaven, and somehow he is him and related to him, even though in reality he's not. You know what they believe? I'm not lying to you. Get Read their book, The Greatest Man Who Ever Lived. It's a book they have on their site. They go, it was at the baptism when the heavens opened and the Spirit came on him that then Jesus remembered Michael in heaven who existed and somehow realized he is somehow connected to Michael. Up until that point, he didn't know about it. It wasn't until the baptism that it was made known to him. You see how convoluted the teaching is? Somehow, Jesus at the baptism was awoken to the memories of Michael who existed, but that life force was not transmitted to him. So somehow he realized, wow, there's some continuity between me and Michael. Even though no, he's not Michael because he's only a man. And Michael did not exist anymore. Then when the man Jesus was wiped out, Michael was recreated with the memories of Jesus. No, Michael Lazarus. It's Michael who's the word, not Jesus. Now, notice what Lazarus asked me. Very good question. Let me share it on screen. No, there was no Jesus that existed, right? Before the creation of the heavens and earth, Michael existed. He's the word, but Michael ceased to be the man Jesus was created with the life force of Michael, and the man Jesus was wiped out. So it's now the archangel Michael with the memories of Jesus. How does that work? I have no idea. So it's Michael who's the word, not Jesus. Michael who's the word, not Jesus. You know that? But they will call him Jesus for convenience sake. If you say, well, why do you call him Jesus? Well, because he's still called Jesus. Why? To show there's some continuity and connection. But is the man Jesus alive? No. Is the man still alive? No. So that man, that physical male with a physical body wiped out? Yes. So who is now alive? Michael was recreated, but he has the memories of Jesus to show there's some connection. Yep. So how do they, how's, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand how then is there any continuity between Michael and Jesus? Because you're telling me when one exists, the other doesn't. When Michael exists, there is no human Jesus. When the human Jesus exists, there is no Michael. No, they don't believe Jesus rose the way you and I believe. They believe resurrection is recreation. Ech. Figure, understand what they believe. This is why one thing you need to learn. No, the dove came and reminded Jesus that implanted in him was the life force of Michael. So the dove came, the spirit came, because remember what they teach? The life force of Michael was put in the child in the womb of Mary. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Is life force? He didn't exist anymore. So what life force? I don't even know that. I don't even think they know what they, they, they believe. So if you ask them, what does that mean? I, I'd be shocked if they can tell you what that means. What do you mean life force? So was he Michael when he became flesh? No. Was he an angelic human when he became flesh? No. Did Michael exist? No. The man Jesus existed with the life force of Michael, and so the Holy Spirit came and opened. Jesus' subconscious mind to be aware of that life force in him. Oh, wow. So he sees then that Michael was there with the father, and somehow he's connected to him. But you can't say they're the same because he's not Michael anymore. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. 
Yes, blue. That's what they believe. 